And in other news today, a mysterious new gangland leader has emerged in the form of Malcolm Bronski, who has taken charge after overthrowing previous head Frankie Lanigan. No one dares cross his path. Police are still looking for the magician known as the Great Max Ronaldo, known to have been working with the mob. He hasn't been seen since the death of Frankie Lonergan. I am not a magician. I am an artist. I create illusions that fool the eye and deceive even the most discerning minds. Only cheap conjurers use assistance. I don't need her. You can still do all that with an assistant, Max. How many magicians do you see without assistance? It's not a good look. And we could do with a sex appeal. If you don't mind my saying. Understandable. Here, tell me something about yourself. Um, well, I've always wanted to know how you do your tricks. And I could really do with a steady job. Money. That's all anybody cares about. Well, you're not going to find it here. He can't even sell this place out. It's not as easy as you think, Max. There's too much to compete with out there. Just you wait, Malcolm. One day I'm going to have something the whole world will be dying to see. And I do not need an assistant. This, your card, sir. Thank you, thank you. Frankie, what are you doing here? Your magic act. Not bad. Very entertaining. You came to see the show? No. I didn't come here to see that bleeding magic show. I'm here because you owe me money. And I'm here to see that money. Now look, things got a little out of hand, I know. Is there anything we can do to, you know, make this little problem go away? Oh, I see. <laughs> How blissful it would be if we could make all our problems just disappear. That's not the world we live in, Malcolm. I'll be waiting. Thank you, thank you. You've been such a wonderful audience tonight. And for my next trick, I shall require a volunteer. Thank you, sir. What is your name? Uh, Gerald. Gerald, Jerry. May I call you Jerry? I am the great Max Rinaldo, but of course you already know that. And this is a transient box. And for this trick, I am going to make our friend Jerry here disappear. So step up to the box, my friend, and I will do the rest.
ladies and uh, gentlemen, I am preparing a grand illusion. Come back next week for the uh, amazing uh, return of Gerald. Sure to uh, amaze. Thank you. Uh, good night. Sounds like a lot of supernatural baloney to me. Supernatural, perhaps. Baloney, perhaps not. Max, that was incredible! This could be huge. This could be the greatest thing anyone's ever seen. No secret compartments, no trapdoors. Oh, Max, this could be used for much more than magic shows. Just think what we can achieve with this box. Branch out a little. I have some associates that can make very good use of your trick. What? No, I need time to perfect this. It's already perfect! All our troubles! Away they go! Trust me, Malcolm, this trick is gonna be big. I just need time to figure out how to get them back. Are you the great Max Ronaldo? Yeah, that's me. Your business partner, Malcolm, tells me you can make people disappear. He did, did he? It's not perfected. Can't bring them back. Oh, I don't want them coming back. You're Frankie Lonigan. That's me. I read about you in the paper. Excuse me, but what do you want? Buddy, bring him through. I ain't never been in the theatre before. <laughs> this is a right laugh, isn't it? No, no, absolutely not. Now you're going to take this bloody waste of space and you're going to make him disappear. And if I refuse? That's not really an option. Look, I don't even understand how this is happening. Well, that's why it's called magic then, isn't it? That's a point. Hurry along then. Just do the trick. Buddy, what are you doing? I want to see the trick. Yes, you can see the trick, buddy. But where's your gun? Oh, I forgot it. Oh, you bloody idiot. Here. Thanks, boss. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I will make this man disappear. First, I count to three. One, two, three, and hey presto! Nice work. You'll be hearing from me. You've got me working for the mob. Only temporarily. I got in way too deep with Frankie. I figured this would settle everything. By turning me into a hitman? Granted. It's not the best business move for you, but hey, you're technically a success. A success. The trick is incomplete. Maybe you can try managing the mob instead of me.
Max, you've got to help me. You're standing on my nerves. Max, it's about Frankie. He still wants his money. Sending him to you didn't settle anything. Do we have any emergency cash lying around? Anything we can take from further ticket You're sales? You're standing on my notes. Max, please, have you sold any new tickets that I don't know about for the next show? Next show? How much time do we have? Oh God, that's it. That's it, I'm done. Get rid of me. Time's up, Malcolm. <laughs> uh, well, Frankie. Uh, the thing about the money is, well, <laughs> the thing about money is, I don't have it. I just want you to know, Malcolm, this is not personal. It's just business. You're standing on my notes. Excuse me. Leave him alone! <laughs> Quick, Max, get rid of him! One, two, three. Hey, presto! Finished. I'm finished. I don't know where they're going, and I can't bring them back. So, you're just gonna give up and walk out? No, you can't. You'll be fine, Malcolm. Besides, you were never any good at managing me anyway. <laughs> and in other news today, a mysterious new gang landleader has emerged in the form of Malcolm Bronsky, who has taken charge after overthrowing previous head Frankie Lanigan. No one dares cross his path. Police are still looking for the magician known as the great Max Ronaldo, known to have been working with the mob. He hasn't been seen since the death.